everybody this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures welcome back to my channel right so for this video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4k picture of Tom Holland's Fright Night now this is going to be an interesting video because I have two issues with this release uh, one is an audio issue which I will get into very soon the second is an issue with the steelbook in general I just found the picture to be the print of this picture just to be very poor uh, maybe it's because I had a matte finish instead of a high gloss finish because I think if I had a high gloss finish I think the picture would have looked a hell of a lot better but yeah I just felt it to be very lacking back and front and it's a shame that because I love this artwork and I always wanted to get this artwork on steelbook form uh, because I missed out on the blu-ray that came out there a couple of years ago and I thought I was doing well getting this steelbook but yeah when I got it into my hands I was just massively underwhelmed by it and I'm kind of curious to hear your thoughts out there or whoever actually picked up this release of it uh, where he's uh, as underwhelmed as I was. Uh, very curious to hear. As for the movie itself, anyone that's not aware of it, it's about this young man by the name of Charlie Brewster who suspects his neighbour is a vampire. And with the help of two of his friends and Peter Vincent, the fearless vampire hunter played by Rowdy McDowell, they all come together to try and put a stop to this vampire. It's one of my favourite vampire movies of all time and it was great to get a 4k release of it and I do love the cast of this movie but I have to admit when you do watch Chris Sarandon, uh, Chris Sarandon in this movie playing Jerry Dandridge the main vampire uh, he really does steal the show it's such a memorable uh, role for him and he really does make this movie. Brad Friedel's soundtrack as well on this is absolutely amazing. He does incredible score to this. And uh, some of the music that you do hear in this movie is very, um, it's very memorable, it is. It always sticks with me, the soundtrack of this movie. And I thought Tom Holland done, done such a wonderful job directing this movie as well. And uh, what, it was two, three years later, he went on to direct Child's Play. Imagine that, he directed two very memorable horror movies in the 80s. But yet we never see this man as a, a real true master of horror. It's a bit of a shame when you do think about it. Uh, the movie itself also spawned a sequel. And I have to admit, I am a massive fan of the sequel. Uh, it was directed by Tommy Lee Wallace, who directed Season of the Witch. And uh, I thought he'd done a wonderful job with it. I think he paid... He, paid, um, he was very faithful uh, to this movie. Uh, the way he directed uh, Fright Night Part 2. And I would love to see a, a proper release for that movie. I have it on Blu-ray, but it's a bootleg Spanish release, and it's a very hard movie to get, um, get on Blu-ray. As a matter of fact, it was very hard to get on DVD. It's just one of them movies, and hopefully someday uh, it will get a release that the movie deserves. There's a rumour going around as well that Tom Holland apparently is going to be making another sequel to this movie. He is actually going to forget about Part 2. Uh, and make his own sequel to it, and apparently a lot of the cast is coming back for it as well, so... Hopefully, fingers crossed, there is a, a lot of truth to that rumour because I would love to see that. I really, really would. Right, so let's get on with the unboxing of this. I'm going to take us around this steelbook and I'll just give you an idea of what the print of this looks like. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about the 4K picture. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go. Fright Night on Steelbook. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, show you the J card very, very quickly. So as you can see, the first thing you will notice is a lot of the special features that you get on this. And there's a lot of new ones here as well. So uh, looking forward to sitting down and watching that. And then right up here is a close look at your technical aspects as well, if you do want to pause it. And of course, you see down the bottom there, it is a region free release. So uh, yeah, that is the J card. Move that to a side and then bring in the Steelbook itself. Now, the one thing I will say is I'm actually looking at this through the camera and it actually does look better through the camera than when you actually have it in your hands. But there is something that's just, the print of it just doesn't look great. Uh, and I'm very curious to hear out there that anyone else have issues with it. But um, yeah, I was just expecting a bit more. Maybe if it was a high gloss finish, I think maybe the picture might have looked a bit better. But the artwork itself, it's so iconic uh, and it's, it is nice to get it on steelbook form. And I'm still happy that I did pick it up. So uh, yeah, that's the steelbook anyway, the cover art. And then that is a close look at your spine of it there. And then take us around to the back. And yeah, I was massively underwhelmed by the artwork in the back. It's just Jerry Dandridge there standing at a window. Uh, again, I think they could have done a bit more with it. And uh, I'm going to open the seal book up in full so you can get a good close look at the, uh, the seal book in full. And yeah, like I said, I was a little underwhelmed by it. But again, I'm more than happy to have it in my collection. So uh, yeah, that is the steelbook, and then I'll take us around and I will show you quickly the discs. So this is your 4K disc, uh, and they're all different artwork as well on these discs. Uh, that is your special features, and then of course uh, that is your your Blu-ray disc that you get with it. 
And as you can see, there's um, nothing inside the steelbook. Um, yeah, a bit of a bare bones release this one, it has to be said when it comes to the steelbook. But like I said, I'm more than happy to have it in the collection. Right folks, so there you have it, that is the steelbook. Right, so let's get on to the 4K transfer, but before we do, let's get through some technical aspects first. It's got an aspect ratio of 239 by 1. It supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. It's also got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. It has a running time of 106 minutes and it's a native 4K disc. Right, so the first thing I actually done was to knock on the Blu-ray on this release because that's done in the 4K Master as well. And then of course I knocked on the 4K disc. And I have to tell you, uh, when you do compare both of them, it's not what you call a drastic difference over that uh, Blu-ray release. Now, not taking anything away from the 4K picture, it looks absolutely stunning. It is by far the best the movie has ever looked. Again, I was just expecting a little bit more. Uh, unfortunately, we always do. Look, it's a force of habit. We all want to see more. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just not quite there for this release. The one thing you will notice, though, is the enhanced contrast that you will see on the 4K disc. And it does add to them inky blacks that you do see on screen. And that's exactly what you want to see for a movie like Fright Night. You want your black levels to be absolutely spot on. And for the most part, they really, really are. And they do add a certain element of depth to your picture. The HDR and Dolby Vision colours do look beautiful as well, but again, it's not what you call a drastic leap over the Blu-ray. It's more of a subtle difference, and I think you will appreciate the, the subtle colours uh, that you will see on this 4K release. Just everything looks just a little bit more robust now, and I think you're really going to appreciate it. Uh, there is a lot of fine detail to be seen in this release as well, but look, it's not there all the time. It has to be said, sometimes the scenes can look a little bit soft. And again, that's all down to source material. It honestly cannot be helped. And uh, you know what? It's one of them releases that when I finished watching it, I honestly stepped back and I said to myself, you know what? This is the best I've ever seen the movie. And what else can you ask for? You know, that is, that is, um, that's our goal when it comes to 4K picture. Uh, we want to be able to walk away from these releases and go, you know what? That's the best I've ever seen that movie look. And Fright Night really did accomplish that. The Dolby Atmos soundtrack that you get on this, for the most part, does sound good, but it does have an issue which I will get to very, very soon. The overheads are quite cleverly used, and one scene comes to mind is when Charlie is in his bedroom, and uh, Jerry Dandridge is on the roof, and he's running across it. You do get a good sense that he is actually above you because of them overheads. It's not the most active soundtrack you will ever hear, but when it does kick in, I think you will appreciate a lot, of the activity, you, a lot of the activity that you're going to hear. It just gives you a good sense of atmosphere, and yes, I think you are going to be very happy with it. But unfortunately, there is an issue. I was contacted by a friend of mine by the name of Andy over at Forgotten World of Movies. I will leave his link in the description below. Go check out his channel. He's such a nice lad as well. And uh, he notified me that one of the songs in this nightclub, the lyrics were removed. Now, the way he described it to me, it did, it did sound like the lyrics were, yet yeah, were taken out of the movie, and I, for the life of me, did not understand that. So when I watched it last night, I don't think the lyrics were removed. I think they were actually drowned out. Whatever happened with the Dolby Atmos, it completely drowned out the lyrics, and you cannot hear a single word being, sa uh, being sung. So the good news is, uh, it, for people that will not like that, uh, there is a 5.1 DTS on this release as well, and if you do knock on the 5.1, uh, them lyrics will be back there and you can actually hear them quite clearly. So yes, there was a fault uh, with uh, the Dolby Atmos on this. And yes, it just took the uh, took the lyrics away from one song for some strange reason. And that is my only kind of nitpick when it comes to this Dolby Atmos soundtrack. For the most part, it really does sound great. And I think you are going to be very happy with what you hear. So that is it folks, that is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of the 4K transfer. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.